I just, I think, I, I don't know. I, I can't say I outdid myself, but I kind of did, though. I did, but I didn't. But I did, but I didn't. But anyway, I'm going to just jump right into the video right after the admire. So here I am. I set this up like super duper fast because I think you guys know how to take off stones. So I'm removing her stones from her last set. And I'm also going to remove the design. Um... This is a extra course um, bit from Amazon. If I can find the link, I will link it down below. Y'all, when I say this stuff, this bit removes the acrylic extra fast. It removes the acrylic extra fast. And it will speed up your time a lot. Because uh, half the time you can spend taking off the acrylic to do a redesign. But you know, the set was free. She gave me her EBT card. <laughs> All right, just stick around and keep watching. By the way, that was a joke. This is my lovely daughter. She's getting ready to go to a homecoming game on Friday. But by the time this video is um, gonna be put up, then the game will have been over anyway. She's not gonna go to the dance bar. She's just gonna go to the game because she just, she's just weird like that. Just hella weird. But yeah, this is my daughter. Um, I used her as my model for today because she has beautiful hands, beautiful hands. So I just used her as my model. She didn't really want to, but I kind of forced her into it. But then I had to do the design that she wanted to do because I wanted to do Halloween nails. She didn't want to do Halloween nails. So we just opted for this fall inspired set. Um, we were looking at um, Sydney Alexis video and I'm not buying the McCart stuff just to recreate a set so I just use what I have. Um, the glitter in this set that you'll see coming up is from Etsy. I'll link that down below as well. Um, but yeah, just keep watching. haven't already y'all need to go check out my last video where I did these instant acrylics nails um the video is posted and up and it's been up since I think yesterday but yeah these are not officially acrylic nails these are the appray dupe system so if you want to have some bomb looking ass nails and you don't want to sit forever and you want to do it yourself and save you some coins suggest you go look at that video because it literally takes about 10 minutes to put it on at the most even for beginners even if you have no idea what you're doing it'll take you 10 minutes to put them on all you do is prep your nails cure you know what I ain't even gonna give it away go watch the video go watch that video I would go in the up and down motion because it is super coarse and if you're not comfortable using the bit you can probably slip and maybe cut somebody's finger off and we don't want that because I don't think our insurance will cover that but even so the only time I go side to side is when I'm going over the apex portion of the nail to debunk it and around the cuticle other than that I'm going up and down so I can remove it a little faster plus this drill bit is loud and it gets on my nerves I don't know why it's loud but it's whatever it works it does the job all right here I am going in with my super small cuticle bit and getting into those little corners because she does have like pockets on the side that are hard to get with a um a 
sanded band. So um, I use this tool. I don't really like using the ball bit that everybody uses because it leaves like little indentations in the client's nails and I don't like it. So when you do use that ball bit, the ball bit is legit for your cuticle area, like the skin portion, not the nail plate. But I digress. Um, go off sis, do what you do and whatever makes you feel comfortable. I just don't like it because when they come in for a fill, you can see where you went around the cuticle with that ball bit. So I just don't use it anymore unless the person has some really tough skin and I need to remove it and I don't want to cut it because I, I literally barely cut because it's illegal to cut in some states. I don't know about your state, but I know in my state it's illegal to cut. So I just don't unless they have like excess excess like right here she had like a little little bit so I did nip that but as far as like going around I don't typically do that I just push it back as far as it can go without hurting the client and that's how I do it everybody does things very differently so if y'all have some suggestions that y'all want to give me let me know all right, so I'm getting ready to start applying. So stick around and watch because this is the good part of the show, y'all. definitely want to have that extra layer of added protection so she already has clear on it because I took it all the way down to the clear layer that I put on there so I'm just filling it in with a little bit of clear so if you look to the right of the screen you'll see me picking up the tiniest bit and then I'm swiping sidewalls to make sure there is no clear acrylic left in there that way when I go to file I can just zip right on through that bitch you know like flash like go through it just go ahead and finish file and Area because it's really hard to get out. 
So you put it just a hairline away from the cuticle and then push it upwards. Um, just a little tip. Um, right here, I'm going in with the cut her shy from the nail plug. Um, I did put her acrylic in a different container because I had added some clear to it. That way it could be at the speed that I wanted it to be because it is very beginner friendly and it is one of those type of acrylics where it really doesn't move unless you start moving it. You can literally leave it on the nail for like 30-45 seconds and it's still workable. So that's why I do like her acrylic, but for me, I needed some speed, so I added clear. So if you have acrylic that is running, or you have acrylic that doesn't move like you want it to move, just add a little bit of your favorite clear in there, and you'll be a o motherfucking k. I just realized that y'all can hear my background. I am watching SpongeBob while I'm doing this voiceover. I am so sorry, y'all. But, I mean, y'all can barely hear it, so you know what I mean. So, I'm working extra thin with this layer because, number one, we had the clear down. Two, we're putting color. Three, I'm going to put glitter on this nail. So, you don't want the nail to be bulky. So, you work in extra, extra thin layers of clear, color, glitter, and then you cap it with clear to preserve your glitter. So this is the glitter that I was talking about that I got from Etsy. I will link that down below and it is specifically a fall glitter. It is so pretty, oh my gosh. All the hexagons, they drive me crazy. Look at this y'all, look at this. Come here, oh this, look at this. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep, it's like one o'clock in the morning but I am doing this for y'all so definitely pay attention because I'm actually giving y'all step by step on everything I'm doing giving y'all the whole list of products as well as be having them linked in the description box below so if you have any questions about something that I didn't mention let me know and I will do my best to find it if I didn't link it that means I don't have a fucking clue where it went or where I got it from this orange is so pretty and it's a uh, neon orange from Not Polish. Um, uh, you can actually find it on their website, but this is a neon orange from Not Polish. I didn't have any of the rusty oranges, you know, for fall, but this actually works out pretty good because it still has hues of red in it. So it's not like gleaming orange, it's like an orangey red color. Um, and that's how it's, it, the light reflects off of it. So it kind of is fall, but not really. But even so, it is very easy to work with. I do love not polish. I have quite a bit of their acrylics in my collection. I do plan on branching out to other um, companies. Like I still work with the nail plug as well. Um, I have plenty of young nail in my collection because I do like their cover cards. The only thing about Young Nails is the only colors that they actually offer are the slick pore colors and I am done working with dip acrylic. I am. I literally only have a few. After that little fiasco with the marbling with uh, iGel, I, didn't, I don't buy any more dip acrylics. I think the only ones that I actually have in my collection is A and C. I have five of their neon colors. And I have maybe two eye gels left, and that's Snapdragon and I think Periwinkle. Let me know if y'all want me to do a set with the Periwinkle because that was my favorite one. The only thing about the eye gel colors is they marble so fucking bad. They marble so bad. And for the price, $5 for two ounces, 60% off sale since two years ago. Yeah, I mean, it's good for beginners, but. I just couldn't. I couldn't get jiggy with that shit. I just couldn't. But even so. Alright, so this right here is Dusty Rose from uh, the nail plug. And I will link that down below as well. Yeah, this one is Dusty Rose, I believe. And it is very, and like I said, I had to um, add some clear into it. That way it would be at the consistency that I'm used to using. 
because I work relatively fast. This set literally only took me maybe about an hour and maybe 10 minutes because I didn't really do much. That I, you, you saw what it was like. I just did the flowers and that was actually my first time doing flowers, y'all. But yeah, I did the flowers, put the stones on, and boom, oh, she was done. quite a bit when I'm doing a set that way I don't have that much filing to do when I finish with the acrylic application so just make sure that you're wiping out the side walls and making the edge sharp that way you don't have a, a lot of filing to do at the end so that's how I pretty much feng shui that um, you can see the pinky, you can see the ring finger, they're all pretty much the same shape as when I took the acrylic off. And basically it's the same shape as when I put the initial set on. You only have to do a little bit of filing at the end if you need to tuck in the sides and wipe down the sides. plus with their sets I make sure I go as close to the cuticle as I possibly can and so I added this extra small bead and pushed it all the way as far as it would go without flooding the cuticle because like I said earlier once you start flooding the cuticle it's it's a wrap it's a wrap sis don't even I wouldn't even put nothing else on there and I would get a good bit to try to get that out but to avoid that make sure that your bead is semi dry and put it up there and then scooch it on to the um, to the cuticle of the nail without flooding it. If you're doing an ombre and you're not comfortable with the ombre, work in very small beads like I was doing here to make sure it all meshes together because when you're doing ombre, it's supposed to have a gradient effect. It's not supposed to just abruptly end. And mixing these two colors together is difficult. That's why you work in very thin layers and you're gonna see me go back in with the orange and slide that on an upward motion. That way it can have that gradient effect that you want when you're doing ombre. Anything in nails is fixable, but do you really want to spend your time fixing stuff? It's better to just do it right the first time. But sometimes we all know in a perfect world that that just doesn't happen that way. So everything is fixable. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm fixing that non-gradient effect that I have here and making it a gradient effect by adding orange and swiping it in an upward motion to give it that gradient effect.
this is the finale. Um, I said this such a little switch because I know y'all um, don't like extra long videos, just enough to be informative and get straight to the point. So I'm using KDS glue. I normally use glue, glue gem gel, but for this, I'm just putting these little crystals in from Blue Street. Um, I got their multi box and these are like the center of where the flowers are going to be so yeah that's why i put them up there with the glue that way i can go ahead and put um top coat on afterwards and if not get all over the um the stones or whatever but y'all it is late as fuck tonight and i'm like what is that thing i should be freaking sleeping I got so much stuff to do tomorrow for this week. But anyway, this is the finale of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I enjoyed y'all being here and watching it. And um, I hope you take something from it. Um, all the videos that I do, I try to provide something informative about it. And I don't do product reviews if I don't even like the product. I say that much right now. If I don't like the product, I send it back to the person and be like, look, I can't, I cannot show this to my viewers. So just to let y'all know, I appreciate each and every one of you, even if you haven't watched lately, if even if you're a subscriber, um, or if you're just passing through. Um, but yeah, go ahead and click that follow button. And my social media is Neon Nails on Instagram, it's Neon Nails on TikTok. And yeah, I'm gonna see y'all in my next video.
did cut out at the last part, but y'all get the idea. I'm just putting stones along the glitter, but I still wanted to upload the video for y'all, so y'all get the idea. I'm out.